Hey everybody, welcome back to Rekeekin, and this is a little different video, okay? We're not doing comic books today. What we're doing today is something that may save your life, okay? First, I want to put a disclaimer on the video is that first, it's, it's going to be about zombies, so if you don't like zombies and stuff like that, don't watch the video. It's going to talk about weapons, so if you have a problem with guns or weapons, don't watch the video, okay? Um, we're not talking about killing anybody or anything like that, it's just weapons, all right? But today what we're going to discuss is because Walking Dead premiere, the mid-season premiere, was Sunday, we're going to talk to you, was it Sunday? Yeah, Sunday. We're going to talk to you about our own personal zombie escape bug out back, okay? This is ours, okay? This isn't like a doomsday prepper. We're not building a fort in the backyard. We're not digging tunnels. Okay. Well, he might be. I'm not. Okay. This is just a bag for fun that we put together that we would use in case of a zombie apocalypse. If we had to bug out, what would we need? And we're trying. To, we're going to relay that to you to see what you think and to see if it helps you in your own zombie bag. Okay. We'll talk about the fun. And then we'll talk about the serious side of things too. So serious. this the serious side of things. Okay? So you all get to that. But we'll talk about it. Here it is. This is the bag right here. It's a big, nice big bag. You actually throw it over your shoulder. Okay? You carry it around. Alright, but it's got everything we need in it. Alright, you can throw it in your trunk and off you go. Alright? So Here it is. First of all, first of all, what do we have in here? Well, of course we got canteen. Of course. Right? Gotta have canteen. Good metal yeah. cooking. Good cooking metal device. Alright? Coffee, boiling water, anything you can think of. There it is, right there. Got out of the yard sale, like 50 cents. Okay? A lot of the stuff I got at yard sales and stuff like that, it's easy to find. Look at this. Even more important, look, look at that. A little coffee maker. A little joys of life. I don't know if it works. It might. It might not. I don't know. I found it. Yard sale. Could work, right? If it does, bonus. If not, you can still use it for holding water. You can bash someone on the head with it. And, I don't know. It could work, right? <laughs> so, coffee, little coffee pot. Um, another, another canteen, okay? Another canteen for your partner, okay? Or whoever else, or cold whatever else you want. Just collect water. Big thing's gonna be water. If you find a water source, what do you do? Get as much as you can. It, it's always good to have this stuff. I forgot how much of this I bought at the water store. It's all as much as water store stuff. Um, I want that. Oh, latex gloves, right? Well, you need latex gloves, right? You, you, you're touching, you're talking about dead people and infection, maybe a virus, right? So what do you have to do? If you're hurting someone or someone's hurt, latex gloves. Okay. This. Oh my God. How important is that to have in a survival situation, right? How important is this rope? Just a simple rope. What can you use this for a hundred different things? Easy, goes in the back. Okay, just rope. Okay, let's get in here. An axe. Okay, first thing it's you're gonna hatchet. say, it's a, well, it's an axe, hatchet. Okay, first thing you say is, oh, you hit someone in the head with that. And that's, yeah, you could. But you're talking hand to hand combat here, and we're not, we're gonna try to, try to stay away from that. But you could, if it's a zombie, right? But mainly it's used for working. You can use it as a hammer, you can use it for chopping, you can use chopping wood. It's for chopping. It's for chopping things. Okay? So it can be used. You can look at it as a as a weapon, but mainly look at it as survival. Okay, this would get you this would be a good survival piece right here. Like the armor. Okay? I mean you could use this for so many things. A 
good pair of gloves. Good pair of durable gloves. Right here. Okay. Good pair of durable gloves. I had those at work. Dust mask. It's a, we got dollar store. Okay. Dust mask. For any kind of environment you're in. Airborne pathogen. You know, right? It's a very airborne pathogen. You may need these. Right? Good. I got that too. All right. Bungee cords. Who would have thought that bungee cords? You use it. Did you watch the kit? What did, what did, what did, um, uh, the kid, um, The Walking Dead kid, I forgot his name, just lost my mind. Oh, Carl. Carl. What do you use to type the, 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 the door with? Bungee cords. You use the USB cables and bungee cords and whatever, so you, you. Spoiler! <laughs> they haven't seen it yet, sorry, but yeah, he does that with the door. About that. Okay. What is a zombie? Anybody seen 28 days later? <laughs> or 28 weeks later? Whatever. What they try to do? They spit in your eyes. Right? So what do you got here? Safety goggles. The goggles. <laughs> okay. The goggles. They're doing nothing. <laughs> goggles. All right. Goggles. What's Safety the goggles. That's my bandana, man. You gotta have a bandana, why not? Look at that. You'd be like Daryl, man. Look at that. You'd be like Daryl, you can tie this around your head. You pack it in a wound. You can blow your nose. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Uh, yeah, that's a sheet, just a rag. Okay. Um, okay. A few pieces. We got a few things. Okay. Ah. This, it's got a little crunched, but this, we haven't really opened it up. But this is. A wind up radio. and solar powered radio. So it's sponsored by the American Red Cross. Okay, so this is um, you can crank it up for battery power or you can do a solar power. Um, works pretty good. It's gonna be necessary if you try to, if there's any kind of loss of power, any kind of communication, cell phones are down, stuff like that. If you have any kind of communication you, or electricity's down, you can use something like this. You may not be able to get anybody because who knows? I mean, it might be radio towers are down, stuff like that. But it's a good wind-up solar-powered radio. Okay. You did. I haven't opened this up yet. Flashlight, battery-powered. Okay. Battery-powered flashlight. Another good tool to have on you. It's a good pick sticker. Okay. Once again, you're gonna say, "Well, we could use it as a weapon." Yeah, you can. But it's used for used for many other things in survival. Okay. Good knife. A really good knife. Okay, just to have on you. I mean, it's good for protection, for use, whatever it needs. Okay. Majorly important. Where would we be in this world without a big roll of duct tape? Okay, that's it. So I'm talking like salt tape. right now. That's it. That's all you need. Duct tape. What else do you need? Right? I bought you this too. You gotta have that. No, you didn't. I won that. You won this? I thought yes. I this. No, I won this at work. This, I thought, was like the ultimate zombie killing and zombie tool. This is a carpenter's or a roofing hammer, okay? And I've mentioned this to several people how good a weapon this would make in a zombie apocalypse because it has a hit or for sticking and it's got a thing for bashing. For and, it's, bashing. and it's got a swing on it, boy. You can, you can really get some swing on this bad boy. I mean, this is, but also really good for survival. Okay, use it for so many different things. Okay, hey, guess what it says right here? Warning, wear safety goggles. Guess what I got? Goggles. Safety goggles! I got that. All right, so this is a good, this, think about this, think about this weapon. Take a look at that and then tell me that wouldn't be a good zombie apocalypse weapon if you're going hand to hand. I mean, this thing's going to do everything. Okay? Um, oh. Here we go. All right, let's get serious here. Little bag. 
of goodies. Oh, I think I closed it. That has been open in a while. There's no need to. What do we have? We got fast start fire logs. Okay. For fire. Oh. For starting your fire. What else do you need? Waterproof bag and then a container full of matches. Okay. Very cool. And then candles. All right, candles. They can be used for all kinds of stuff. Wax can be used for all kinds of stuff, and they will re-enter the subject here in a little bit too when we talk about some other stuff. But this should be waterproof. I don't know if it is anymore. <laughs> it's been in here so long, but that should be in a waterproof bag. There's your fire stuff right there. Okay. So you say, oh, it's a lot of stuff so far. Well, we got more. Where's my box? Right. Okay. Oh, more dust mass. More dust mass. Looking kit right here. I forgot I even opened the damn thing. All right. So we open this up. And what do we got in here? Okay. We got more latex gloves and dust mass. Those are actual well, actual surgical masks. So if you're actually working on somebody, or you're actually, these are actual surgical masks here for blood, bloodborne pathogens and stuff like that. Okay, hold that. Portable aqua. These are tablets that purify water. Okay. Um, drop it in, shake it up, and um, well, it says right here in the instructions. Two tablets make one quart of most bacteriolo uh, bacteriologically suitable to drink. Okay? Water tablets. Tie straps. For tying stuff up. Okay? For like wrapping stuff up. Cords. Anything you need to tie down. If you need to make a camp mint or something like that. Okay? Marking tape. You may not think this is important, but if you're out and you're wandering and you want to leave a path of where you've been so people can follow you or find you or know where you've gone, this could be torn off and used as marking tape. He used that when I was in the fire department. Really? You go, when you go through houses, when you search and rescue, you right. find a house, when you find a room that's empty, you either chalk it or put it up so they know you've already been in, it's already checked. Right, so you could use this. So if you're going to house to house for survival stuff and you want to know, hey, there's a walker in that room or there's a dead person in there, you could tie this tape on it. Saying you've already been in it, don't be in there. It could be used for all kinds of stuff. All right, very important. May not think it is, but very important. All right, first aid kit. All right, it's got everything you need in there. All right. Super glue! <laughs> crazy glue. Need some crazy glue. Very, if you ever watch Survivor Man, he always has one of these on him. And it's his portable tool. It's all purpose, okay? Need one of these. You're set, man. You got everything. You got duct tape. You got one of these. You got duct tape. What else do you need? You can fight the whole zombie apocalypse with that. Okay. A lock. Okay. Just in case you have to lock yourself into someplace, or lock someone out of someplace, or lock someone into someplace. Here's a good lock. A lighter. Okay. Yeah, I know we got to make fire, but I don't believe the zombie apocalypse is going to stop lighters from ever working. So these are good to have. Okay, and then in case fire doesn't, this lighter goes out, a good magnesium um, fire starter stick. All you need is a, your knife and a little scrape and you got it. Stuff works like a charm. One thing I don't have that you might want to put in your kit too is some steel wool. Steel wool and a battery, you got a fire. Okay. Okay. That's the nap bag. All right, so what do we have in here for rations? Well, we got this. For right now, we got this. 
We got beef jerky and spam. I love spam and beef jerky. Okay. So these are are in our kit. Um, at the same time, this is just for bugging out stuff. Like I said, this is just for running out. We also have in our kit. We have to grab separately is this. And this is our 90 day dry rations. Okay. This should last 160 servings. I think it's a has a 20 year shelf life. Um, includes a water purifier. Grab that on your way out. There's some food. Okay. Got this at Costco. I don't remember we had that. Yep. Okay. So there's your food for now. For, to, to you can find a good food source. All right. Then. Okay, then what we got is <laughs> the worst case scenario ex survival handbook, okay? Extreme uh, uh, edition. This is has crazy stuff in it. This is like how to survive an elephant stampede, all right? Or um, how to outpack how with a pack of wolves. You put glass on your hands, don't you? And then punch them in the face like Leslie Nielsen. Leslie Nielsen. <laughs> Liam Neeson. Sorry, Leslie Nielsen. Liam Neeson. Um, so, uh, how to survive a nuclear fallout, uh, deal with suspicious white powder, how to survive if your food is being poisoned, uh, how to survive a gorilla attack, um, a rollover in a car, it's got all kinds of crazy stuff in here, okay? It's just, it's, it's got all kinds of really crazy things, how to survive stuff. It says, uh, how to win a pack of wolves, how to take a bullet. <laughs> I don't know how do you take a bullet. I mean, that's like, I don't think I have a choice. If the guy's aiming at my head, do I, you know, well, no, go for my shoulder. Uh, how to ski off a 100 foot drop. How to steer a car down a mountain slide. Uh, how to free your leg from a bear trap. Could be. I don't know. How to land a runway. How to, how to land a runaway hot air balloon. You know, you never know you're going to need that until it happens. Okay? Don't laugh. How to cross between buildings on a wire. How to escape from an angry gorilla. Yeah. How to bail out of a street luge. <laughs> How to survive if you're buried alive. Okay, and so there's a book. Hopefully, if these things are happening, you, you have, you've memorized the book because I don't think there's time to pull the book out. If you're gonna bail out from a street luge, I don't think you're going. <laughs> okay, so I don't know if that's gonna work. Okay, so there we go. There we go, what's in our bag? All right, for our zombie apocalypse. Now you're gonna ask, well, what about a weapon? What about, well, I got my axe and everything. Well, we do have a weapon. Our weapon is this, okay? This is our gun, this is our shotgun. He's got one too. This is our shotgun, this is not loaded. Don't worry, it's not loaded. Um, this is, Never been shot. She's never been shot. That makes me nervous. <laughs> never been shot. Oh, it's brand new. It's not brand new. So it's just never been shot. Um, use it for protection, but it's also good for hunting. I mean, it's not the greatest gun for hunting anything except for using birds, if you're a good bird shot. Um, but you could use it to go along with it. We got the bandolier. Okay. So we got a bandolier. And the shotgun. Alright, I don't have a handgun. This is it. 12 gauge. These are slugs. This isn't shot. These are regular slugs. Okay. So we have those and we have extra bullets. Um, but this is our weapon. This is, would be our, our weapon. Your weapon. Yeah, he has his own. Um, so that's, that would be for a zombie apocalypse. Okay. That's what we would think we would need to bug out for a zombie apocalypse. Right away. Until we found someplace safer to be. We could probably survive several, maybe a week, several, several weeks on this kind of stuff. If we made an encampment, we probably could make our own encampment and, and survive off this stuff. Now, now we get to the fun stuff because here's our philosophy. This is him and I's philosophy. At the point of a zombie apocalypse, if the zombies are coming down the road after you, okay, at that point, in time, that point in life, everything is 100% probable. 
okay? Everything. So, don't be surprised if you see anything else. That's what used to tick us off about movies, is you had to be dealing with zombies and demons, and then they would see something else, and they'd go, oh my god, that's not possible. Really? <laughs> that's not possible? You're fighting dead people or a demon, and you're worried about a Bigfoot, okay? Everything at that point becomes probable. So don't be surprised. Okay, so in our bag, for fun, not for fun, we've added, well, you never know it's fun until it happens, right? So it's like you laugh at us now, but who's saying, oh shit, when it happens, yeah. right? So we added some extras. Okay, well first we added, okay, seriously, take Twilight out of the picture, what are vampires? Really? They're just glorified undead. So what do we have? We got some steaks. We're going to stick them. Okay? We're going to Buffy the Vampire Killer, these son of a bitches. Alright? We got steaks. Okay? For vampires. Also, good old, straight from the Catholic Church blessed, holy water. Okay? This works on many dead peep things. Okay? And if you're dealing with dead, you're dealing with liches, you're dealing with um, zombies, you're dealing with vampires, you're dealing with maybe demons. Okay? So this works on all kinds of stuff. Okay? If you're dealing with um, ghosts, or, um, or you want to know if there's ghosts around your encampment, you always got to have your trusty, what? EMF detector. That's right, Ghost Adventures. We got our EMF detector. All right, so we'll know if there's ghosts around. Is someone trying to communicate? Is someone trying to communicate with us? Also, rock salt. When supernatural you lay, style. Supernatural style, baby. You never know. 100%, if zombies are coming, don't question supernatural, okay? If a dead guy's stranging at your window, don't go, well, it's supernatural, it's a TV show. There's a dead guy at my window. Supernatural, okay? Rock salt, okay? Trust me, gotta have it, okay? Also, that's it? no, there's one more. Oh. Because if everything's going to shit, I don't care how religious you are, you're gonna need probably one of these, okay? You're gonna need one of these. Because if the dead are inheriting the earth, buddy, you're probably gonna need one of these. Whether you're atheist now, if the dead come, grab one of these, it can come in handy. <laughs> All right? Then, on top of everything else, if your stakes don't work, your EMF detect doesn't tell you ghosts there and you get possessed, if the Bible bursts in flames in your hand, if the devil himself is coming down and it's taking over the earth, the last thing you need, and I hate to say this, <laughs> but just sit back, grab a lawn chair, grab a bottle of this, and just watch it all go to shit. Okay? Just watch it all go to shit. <laughs> because you've done everything you can. Take a good bottle of this, drink it down, smile, and let it happen. Okay? Just let it happen. There's nothing else you can do. Okay? That's what's in the bag. <laughs> I think we've covered all the bases. Alright? <laughs> Now, I will say on a serious note, now when we take all the fun stuff out about zombies and stuff like that, on a serious note, we know the weather conditions are happening back east, we know all the stuff that's happening with snowstorms and stuff like that. This is a pretty good survival pack, and the CDC will actually, will actually boast, of, not boast, but they will uh, recommend having something like this. Uh, some kind of bug out pack. Because if you're just prepared for the zombie apocalypse, you're prepared for being exactly. possessed. <laughs> exactly, like they said, like he said. If you're prepared for a zombie apocalypse, you're prepared for any other kind of disaster. So having one of these in your house, you're able to, you're able to survive anything. A flood, a loss of power, um, any kind of like earthquake, stuff like that, that you can actually live on. The food rations, the stuff in your pack, making a fire, clean, clean your water, stuff like that. So that's the serious side of things. So, yeah, we collect stuff for the zombie apocalypse, but if something happens, I am a little prepared. Now, we're not crazy, we're not making bomb shelters in our backyard, and we're not, yes, we uh, we're not doing all that, which is fine if you want to do that. That's fine. That's your life. Do what you want to do. This is just something you can grab when you need to go, or have in your house, or have in front of your car when you're, going, you're having to go, you can bug out somewhere, and you can have stuff. 
All right? So that's the zombie bag. Anybody got any suggestions? Anybody got anything they think we should add? Anything in the dollar store, apparently. Anything in the dollar store, because the dollar store is a great place for just buying stuff you just throw in there. Any suggestions on what we should do or you think should add to the pack? Post your suggestions down below. We need like a gone water. Okay. Yeah, one or thing we do, we do need, water. we do have water on our garage, um, but we don't have an actual water. But post your comments uh, below, okay? Let us know uh, what you think. I know we're a little scrunched in this video here because of the camera angle and all that, but um, post your comments below, subscribe. Um, check it out, it'll be on the website with my review about zombies. This will be posted with it at regeekin.com. What review about zombies? Oh, it's my my thing about zombies. Oh. My little, it's a opinion thing about zombies. So this is the pack. Hope you liked it. Um, let us know. If you want to see more of this kind of stuff, we'll do it. We'll review different apocalyptic things. If you want to see different tools that we find, different things we want to add to the bag. We need to watch like all the Supernatural you, episodes and like figure out how to kill, how to gank everything. You know what's hard to get? And I think it's, and if you guys have any, uh, any ideas how to get it, is Wolfsbane. Because, uh, werewolves. I could, it's like you can't bring it into the country or something like that. It's not allowed to have it in America or, or something like that. It's weird. So if I'm wrong, correct me. Dead man's blood. Uh, so <laughs> um, if, you, if, if I'm wrong about that, correct me. If uh, if you know how to get it, cool. Be cool. Have a zombie bag. So let us know. We have fun putting it together. Have fun making this video. Um, so that's it. So hope you liked it. Good times. Um, enjoy.